All right, what's up, guys? What we're doing? It is seven in the morning. I gotta get ready for work. Not ready, but I gotta leave for work. All right. Let me move all these to the side. As you guys can see, I daily the Miata, so it's not so pretty. Um, the Miata is broken. We are, I'm actually working on it. I'm gonna work on it right now before I go to work. I'm not running late, so I'm just gonna disconnect the battery. I don't even have my right tools for this. So I'm just gonna use the little T-Rex pliers. Put this out the way. Let's see if I can just take it off. Hopefully this Miata runs perfect. Nah, which I probably know I won't. I upgraded everything I could. Uh, I, do, I do know I need motor mounts. Alright, we're gonna... Uh, and it turned off. You gotta remember, I don't have a... I don't have an idle control... Idle air control valve. So the Miata doesn't stay on. Um, I have to like give it gas myself for the first couple like 15 seconds. It sounds like there's an exhaust leak. Man, they say went, you know, they say go boosted, but I went boosted and it just gave me a lot, a hell of a more problem. Sometimes I wish I should have just stayed at night. Just like any other car person, except these famous YouTubers, I do have a job. I have a job to actually support my habits as in cars not bad habits uh, I don't smoke no bad stuff I'll see you guys later right after see what I got going and uh, let's fast forward to the end of the day show you the noise let me let it cool down because when I let it when I let it cool down it actually makes the noise a lot louder I'm gonna just try to see if it's loose um I'm gonna try to see if it's if it's loose uh like to where I could just tighten it and not take off the belts of any other one um let me see what size is it I don't even know what size is it let's grab Let's try a 17. It might be a 17. There's an 18. Let's try 18. Oh, this motherfucker hot. For sure not an 18. I think it's a 20. Nineteen twenty. Perfect. There's a 21. What the fuck? Where's a 20 at? So oh, it's a 21. Perfect. So I'm gonna try to tighten it. Damn, it's not even this. Okay. Oh yeah, that's loose. I just. Hmm. Let me put it in gear. Uh, I started to think like maybe like my motor mounts loose or anything that's literally what it sounds like like if my motor mount was loose and it was just metal on metal um, it's not I I mean yeah I guess you would say it does sound like a rod knock I and mean, I'd rather have this than have an actual rod knock you know itself so just check your crank pulley uh, main bolt um, maybe it's that I want to say that's going to be most likely it um, cause I couldn't figure anything out like the exhaust oh I still have that exhaust problem there's like an exhaust leak problem I have inside of the exhaust like it's weird the the noise comes from inside of the exhaust instead of the outside like I don't know what's going on in there like I'm trying I'm trying to figure out what's going on that's freaking making that noise like I don't know if it's 
like the muffler that fell apart on the inside of the muffler but i can't really see it in there unless i take apart uh the muffler itself so i think i'm gonna end up loosening up the resonator because the, the resonator is right before the muffler and that could be one thing or there, it sounds like there's something in there i just don't know what for the most part that's all we had for the day we're gonna go check out the del sol for a little bit you barking dogs well and these motor mounts for sure those are cracked all right so i'm gonna end up picking up some new motor mounts for it anyway some probably some performance ones um gonna end up let's see what else are we gonna do he changed the pcb valve there's still rat shit everywhere on here brian look at that i still have to pressure wash this down uh but before i do that i'm gonna end up taking apart the whole front end because this is gonna come out um the radiator support i'm gonna have to drill it out bolt it unbolt it out take it all off um we're gonna put the ek uh front radiator support hopefully i can make the hood latches work because i'm not trying to put any hood pins my miata's like on near freaking the hood flying off on the freeway it's like one those amazon hood pins the ones that look badass those just push ones you know kind of like what they use on the bumpers those things suck i've went through i want to say three of them already and you know every time i get them they're just more expensive i don't know if they're more expensive because people keep buying them and they think they're cool like they think they're cool you know because they see them on other cars or anything but i bought them a long time ago i remember buying them for like 20 bucks and then it was like 35 and now they're like 50 and i'm like nah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get those um what do they call them those arrow type ones they're pretty long they're like uh ovals those are pretty badass so i'm gonna end up buying a pair of those pretty soon uh they're just they're quite pricey they're like 80 bucks i mean i could grab them right now instead of fucking worrying about the hood flying off on the freeway but for the most part i'm gonna need new motor mounts it looks like there's only two mounts this one looks like if, i mean if you see it there's like a slight push i'm not too sure if that was because of the accident i don't think so it drives normal it drives pretty good i am thinking about just doing a valve uh, not a valve cover a head gasket because the head gasket it's so simple and the engine's just right here there's so much room the only thing i mean i'm probably gonna end up just having trouble with is just the chain not the chain i don't know if it's a chain or a belt i'm pretty sure it's a belt um doing the belt but i mean you know it's all there's still quite some room so i'm gonna end up doing that and i'm gonna end up uh for sure changing out the clutch and transmission not the transmission the clutch and the i was about to say this transmission's cracked no i'm sure this car does have 200 and like 30 some thousand miles or 20 thousand miles it has a lot so um, i gotta work on it and then we got a canister back here we might want to delete there's a bunch of stuff i want to get rid of for it to clean up the engine bay but before i do that i gotta make sure that it passes the uh, california emissions because if it doesn't pass the california emissions i'm screwed oh snap camera's gonna die i'm gonna end this video right here i have another video up on sunday i'll see you guys soon if you have any questions about both the builds let me know peace out don't forget to like the video I'm trying to get those likes up i already got the thousand subs appreciate it now let's get these likes up